in 2011, again a very different building. We were still in Barcelona. We'd had some other category winners from Barcelona in the WAF Awards, but for the first time a completed building came from the city itself. And from the outside it looks quite extraordinary. We've never seen an office building like this. It has ETFE, environmentally friendly form of plastic, cushions which will inflate with gas to protect the facade from the excesses of the Barcelona uh, summer heat. And that idea of providing a protective skin, which is not the skin of the building itself, but is an additional skin on the outside of the building, was just one of the first and most visually stimulating uh, tricks or devices that the architects had used to try to make as green a building as possible. They reckoned they had eliminated about 95% the carbon production that one would associate with a building of this sort. It was quite ingenious structurally and uh, the, I suppose the building that probably ran it closest uh, was a, a building uh, in Cambridge, uh, England by Stanton Williams which is all about evolution and plant science and devoted in some ways to the memory of Darwin. This was a, a no-expense uh, spared building, beautifully detailed, very lovely gardens and grounds. And I suppose one or two of the Jews, it's just it was a tiny bit too cool, um, a, a tiny bit too fixed, I suppose, a tiny bit too perfect, you might say. And there was something about this Barcelona office, a very brave building, um, we'll have to find out in 10 or 15 years whether it lives up to the claims made for it and the expectations uh, of it. I think there was a feeling on the day that this was a tougher challenge. It did have budget limits. It did have to perform a greater role uh, in the city and its future, and in particular uh, in this area. So in the end, that's the building that won.